Hello there. Today I'm going to give you a sneak peek at to the new Zoot P1 Ultra Tri Suit. Now this suit has just gone on sale, I think over just the past week here. Uh, I've got a few copies myself as part of participating in 70.3 Worlds. And I want to give you a little bit of a sneak peek to what the suit features are and uh, test this out. I'm going to go for a quick bike ride here before it gets too dark as well as a brook run to more or less get the feelings of what it's like running in this. And from that, so let's get into it. Let's start off with the features. The first thing to note is that these sleeves are longer than some of the other tri sleeves that uh, you may have seen from the Zoot lineup and even with some of the other brands. Uh, you've got, just like with the other uh, suits, you've got the zippers where it locks if it's down and if it's up you could quickly go and rip this away you got your ice pocket here and of course if you zip all the way down through you've got your pockets for your nutrition or for ice as well as side pockets here they're more tightly knit it's a lot tighter so you can see this width here is a little bit smaller than the others that i am used to uh, you still got the same pockets. Sorry about that. I've got two of them here with me. Got the same pocket. So this is feeding into one pocket. Um, they could reach out to the other side here. So this is all one pocket. This used to be two with the other suit. And it looks to be a little bit of a tighter fit. I will also note that this is uh, the same. I guess this is all black material because apparently they wanted to do a little bit more compression and excuse me here looking down this is the same uh carbon fiber chamois uh that they have with a lot of their other tri suits so that hasn't changed but apparently this is a more compressive fit uh, they still have the same gripper which i think has been improved over previous years and uh this kind of ribboning is similar to suits that were done i think a year and a half two years ago but they also have this ribboning on the back as well so that's another change. I'll take off this tag eventually. So they say this fits a little bit tighter and I'm about to find out here as soon as I go and put this thing on. I've now put on the suit and I have to say this feels a little bit different compared to my other suit. Uh, one thing to note is that this seam definitely, I do feel this seam here a little bit more, uh, but I'll cut this out. Uh, shortly, but I would say it's a slightly tighter fit in terms of the upper chest. So what will probably happen is just a little bit of loosening here uh, when on the bike. But the sleeves are pretty deep down, as you can see. Uh, but it certainly feels fast. Uh, that's definitely a thing. And I'm about to go on the bike to more or less find out uh, what it feels like when pedaling hard. So today I'm going to go for a, a normal aerobic ride as I just got back from travel. So I'm just trying to get back into it. But uh, so I'm about to see kind of how it feels and what it's like when going across with the wind. Full zip, half zip. Um, and uh, really get on the road here because... I don't want it to be too dark out when I go and film, so let me get to it. Oops, I'm out on the bike trail, testing out the suit. No, you can't see me directly. Apologies for the lighting, but let me dismount here. Or get the bike computer off. So, as it pertains to the suit that I have here, apologies for the lighting. Breathing's fine. 
and doing my brick run here. I'm actually a little more tired than I thought. I'm not going as fast as I want to, but now I'm walking or running slow because of course I'm doing a little bit of talking as I go. But this race suit performs well on the run, I would say. Like, I'm tucked all the way top. I don't really feel that much on chest here, but you can zip it down, of course, and I uh, get a little bit more comfort. I would say it's definitely snug on the shoulder, so if you do chafe in the armpits, well, I would recommend a little bit of extra chafing cream. So that's something I'll take it out. And it also is definitely some leg compression, especially right around in the middle of the quads area, which is all right. I'm okay with a little bit of extra compression. And, but I mean, this is definitely a fast race suit. The sleeves are all the way down to where the elbow is, just about there. So if you prefer to be a little bit more comfortable or if you want to have a little bit of comfort around the elbow area, I would say this is the length of the sleeves here is a little bit longer than what you may be comfortable with if you do want to give the P1C to try. So overall, I mean, the run is pretty comfortable uh, considering that this is more of a performance suit as opposed to a comfort suit. So with that, I'll check back once I get back home. There you have it. There has been the run as well as the bike and just wanted again give a recap to my initial thoughts for this zoot p1 ultra uh this skin suit i guess they could say or in this case a tri suit and overall my thoughts are is that this suit is not for everybody and i would say for those that are looking for more of a more of a comfortable fit uh i would say go with the kind of the suits that they currently now have at Zoot Sports. So uh, these feature uh, kind of more of a looser fitting uh, sleeves as well as a little bit more of what I would say a comfortable bottom. Uh, but I've also brought my other suit that I've worn previously here where you kind of see this um, kind of a kind of a lining along the sides uh, where they kind of took some of that lining along the sides and added that to the p1 here but that's not to say that i wouldn't recommend the p1 uh suit i think that um it serves a purpose uh this is certainly lighter compared to the other zoot suits uh, i definitely felt it on the run that i had today so i was able to crank in 14 miles wearing this and uh, after breaking it in a few times, I did have some initial concerns about the top here being a little bit too tight. But now that I've broken in the suit a few times and worn it a few times, that really hasn't been much of an issue, or at least that wasn't as big of an issue before as before. Uh, I will say that it is more of a compressive fit, so if you prefer somewhat of a looser fit, I would stick with the others. But if you like a tighter fit, more of a performance type of a fit, and kind of more hugging along the leg, then this is definitely a suit for you. And as I said, um, the overall weight of this is certainly lighter. I will say this back pocket here is larger than I had anticipated. It fits a lot more in this back here. So it's really good if you're one that likes to store all of your gels in the back. Um, and so uh, compared to the other version, which is a lot tighter. And so uh, I would say there's definitely more storage options on the back, but again, it still features the same a zipper, uh, at least the pockets on the sides, which I'll show here again. Um, it will still have those same pockets like the other uh, zip suits here, right? You look at your fuel or ice or both combination, and of course these have the ice pocket on the neck. Uh, it is a little bit more ventilated on the back, so I certainly felt a little bit cooler when going on my cycling rides and on the run it actually kind of helped me out a little bit, helped me to keep off the temperature and keep me a little bit more cool. So again, those are my initial thoughts. Overall, I think it is a good uh, performance suit, but I would say it's not for everybody. 
uh, in recap, if you like a more performance, a more compressive fit, then the P1 Ultra Suit is definitely a good choice. Uh, but for those that are looking for a little bit more of a loose, more of a comfort fit, then I would say go with kind of the more traditional suits that uh, Zoot has to offer if you're looking for that. Overall, as a tri suit, I would say it is a really good performing suit. Again, it is on the pricey side, so would I say the money is fully worth it? Kind of depends what you're looking for. Like, if you're a performing athlete, then I would say for sure. But for those that are casual, maybe maybe go with slightly cheaper options. Um, but that's not to say that you shouldn't give this suit a try. And with that, that concludes this summary of what I have with the Zoot P1 tri suit. I'm going to be wearing this for Worlds. Uh, this coming fall uh, for 2022 in St. George. And that stated, if you like the content of this video, then please go and hit that subscribe button. And of course, leave a comment down below if you've had this suit uh, or planning on wearing it or have any questions that you would like to ask. Uh, I'll try to answer them accordingly. So go and leave that comment down there. And of course, uh, hit that subscribe button and... Uh, Hit the bell notification for other videos that I'll be posting. And until the next one, Yoshi out.